Traditionalist. This is my brother Ezra Lamb. Together, we are the Lambs. Ezra Lamb? Hiya. Hiya, Ezra Lamb. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. If we make those, you can laugh or not. <laughs> Hiya, Ezra Lamb. <laughs> okay. I can explain. He has ADHD, which means he takes Ritalin, but he doesn't really take it because he sells it to college kids for money. <laughs> where we entertain you, and this is my ex, Shaniqua, and this is a song about love. Sometimes I even cut myself to see how much it bleeds. The pain is like adrenaline. It's such a sudden rush for me. Everything you say is real, and I respect you because you tell it. My girlfriend's jealous because I talk about you 24-7. But she don't know you like I know you, Slim. No one does. She don't know what it was like for people like us growing up. You've got to call me, man. I'll be the biggest fan you'll ever lose. Sincerely, Stan. P.S. We should be together, too. <laughs> I'm trying to talk. See, Slim, 
That's my girlfriend screaming in the trunk. But I didn't slit her throat. I just tied her up behind like you. This way, if she suffocates, she'll suffer more, and then she'll die too. Oh, here we are, almost at the bridge now. Oh shit, I forgot. How am I supposed to send this shit out? <laughs> Don't you like to cut your wrist too? I say that shit just plowing dog. Come on, how fucked up is you? I think you have some issues, Slay, and you really need some counseling to help your ass from bouncing off the walls when you get down some. And what's this shit about us meant to be together? That type of shit'll make me not want us to meet each other. I think you and your girlfriend need each other. I just hope you read this letter. I hope it reaches you in time before you hurt yourself. I think you'll be doing just fine if you relax a little. I'm glad I inspire you, but Stan, why are you so mad? You need to understand, I do want you as a fan. I just don't want you to do some crazy shit. I seen this one shit on the news a couple weeks ago that made me sick. This dude was drunk and he drove his car over a bridge and in the trunk he had his girlfriend and she was pregnant with his kid and in the car there was a tape. They didn't say who it was to. Come to think about it, his name was... It was you. Damn. 